Hey guys, welcome. I'm going to show you guys real quick how I edit my gaming clips and I post them to social media sites such as YouTube Shorts, which you should be using if you're not, um, TikTok and Instagram Reels. All right. So a few key things I want to list before we jump right into this is that you want to make sure that you're using high quality recordings. High quality meaning you are not taking your recording, like your VODs or your highlights, or your clips from Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, downloading them from there and then editing your clips. You don't want to do that. All those websites compress the videos and you lose quality. You want to make sure you're using gaming clips that you're recording through your recording software. So that's either OBS, Studio or Streamlabs. All right. So stick around. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get this done. It's quick. It's easy and you're going to get a lot of likes in your videos. Trust me. Let's go over here. First thing you're going to need is DaVinci Resolve 17. It's completely free. You just got to go to the website that I'll have linked down below. And then you're going to see this here, DaVinci Resolve 17 download. Doesn't matter which one you do. You can either do DaVinci Resolve 17 or the Resolve Studio, which has just a bunch of extra plugins. Doesn't matter. Just make sure you download one of these when you're done. Uh, just come back and I'll show you how to do the rest. So going forward, we'll start with opening up DaVinci Resolve. We're going to do Untitled Project. So this is the interface that you'll first come to. What you want to be at is the Edit tab first, just to keep things simple. I'm not going to go over everything in this. Um, you know, there's more detailed videos that I'll go over everything that you need to do in this video. But if you copy everything that I do in this video, you, you will know what to do. If you want to do more effects or different transitions or other things, you know, go ahead and look on YouTube and find tutorials for that. So first thing we'll do is we'll go to, uh, we'll drag in our media here. So let's do import media. I already have something, just an example file. This isn't an amazing gaming clip. It's just some gameplay that I'm just going to edit as an example. So I'm going to grab that, put that in there. If you get this message, um, just go ahead and click change. That'll make sure that you keep the frame rate that you recorded the video in. So we'll do change here. Uh, uh, let's see here. So we'll actually bring this Put it over here. Actually, make sure that this right at the start, and then we're going to go under File, Project Settings. Okay, so this is the most important part when it comes to uploading into that vertical mode for TikTok, Shorts, and Instagram. So all you got to do is just flip flop these, right? So we're going to do 1080 by 1920. Oops. Right. Make sure your frames are 60 there or whatever frames you're looking or you're recording in. I do 60. So I have 60 frames right there. Rest of this stuff, you don't have to worry about. Just leave it as it is. Click save. All right. So now your video is in vertical view. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to duplicate our original video, not the audio file. Okay. Just the original video. We want to duplicate it three times. So how you do that is you hold the alt key down on your keyboard and then you select the clip and then you just move it up and then you just do it again. All right. So now we have three clips. So just move that up this down. So this is the audio clip. These are our three video clips, right? There's nothing you're going to have to do with the audio clip. Just make sure there's only one audio clip. You don't want duplicated audio. So what we'll do, hide this, hide that. And then for this first one here, we're going to go up to this video tab, make sure that you're in inspector mode and then video. And then with the zoom, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom this to about 3.15. I found that that's the best setting for that. So this is just going to be our background. It's going to be our background. Um, just, it's kind of just filler just to make the video look better. 
Then you're gonna go to the effects toolbar here under open effects. And then I think it's Gaussian blur or something like that. You're just gonna grab that, set it right there. All right now you got a blur and then you can change that blur. It's completely up to you on what you want it to be. I've just put it at 0 0.75. That just works for me. And then, so with that one, that one is done. So we're done with the first one. So now we'll move on to the second one. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make sure that the second clip is selected because it will stay in the first one. So make sure the second clip is selected. Then we're going to go to zoom and we're going to zoom again. Now this one is all kind of personal preference because everyone has different um, webcam sizes and whatnot. So you just do it to, to whatever you want. You just want to make sure you have a little bit of space up here and down below because uh, YouTube shorts and especially TikTok and Instagram like to put text down here and sometimes up here as well. TikTok will put text up here. You don't want your video to be covering that. Like you don't want a bunch of text over your video. It just doesn't look good. So I typically do it because I want my gameplay to be as wide as possible. So if you see my webcam right there, I just pretty much go until that disappears. So I'm at 2270 here. So I'm just going to do 2300 just to even it out. Right? So I got space here and space here and that's it. That's it for that one. So now we're going to do hide that clip. We're going to show this clip. Now this is where you're going to get your webcam frame in. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom this again. So make sure you have that clip selected and zoom it again. I usually match it to what the second clip was. So I'll go to 2300 because this one is 2300. This one's 2300, right? So 2300 and then you just play with these to get your webcam centered. Right, so I'm gonna move this over, set it right there. Then I'm gonna move it up, about to about right there. I want to leave a little bit of room up there. Um, I don't know the exact room for all apps. It doesn't really matter to be honest, but you just want to leave a little bit of room up there because, like I said, TikTok will have text up there that will cover your video. So we'll just leave it right there for now. Uh, maybe move this over to teats more. And then now for the most important step with this, we're going to use the fusion tab here down in the bottom. So click the fusion tab. And then you'll see this here. So the, the one that you want to select, it's, it's up to you. You can use either of these. So you can use this if you want more of like a circle type cam on top of your clip. Or you can use so this here, uh, delete. I use, make sure media one's selected there. I use this one. So I'll grab the center of this and I'll move it over, kind of the center there. And I'll take the sides, move it in. And you just gotta keep playing around with it until you kind of get the cam, you don't have to be super picky with it, but we'll just do that. That's good for now. I don't need my bar in there. So I'll just do that and do that. And I can click back on the edit tab here. There we go. So now I got that there and I, you can reposition again, just try to get it as centered as possible. So that's centered, enable this. Enable this and then boom, you have the clip. So, um, with this one, you know, I made this kind of long. So also you can trim in here too. You can trim your clip using these tools right here. I'm not going to explain how these work, but this tool right here will cut the clip, right? So if I want to cut it here, 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 you can select these files delete. You can also do it this way. You know, do this however you want. And then you can preview your clip up here. 
you guys can't hear the audio on this, but this is my clip. But it just looks really clean. You got the, the blur down there for the text. You got your gameplay here. You got your camera. It's just very clean. All right. Lastly, once you have your clip trimmed and um, everything is edited the way you want it to, you're going to go to the deliver tab. You're going to name your file. So example, and then you're going to select the folder you want to do it to. Um, I typically do OneDrive so that I can, um, I do it to OneDrive so that I can download the video on my phone and then upload it through TikTok and Instagram Reels that way. So I'm just going to name this one, save it. Uh, most important part on this, make sure that you select your format as MP4. And then the rest of this stuff, I choose for quality under here. I choose best. I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes really, but I choose best. And then you add to render queue. And then you select render all. That video will render. And then you got your gaming clip. Quick, easy, simple. Um, you know, the first time you do it, it might take a little bit um, to kind of get a gist of how everything works. My first time doing this, it probably took me like 30 minutes. That's totally normal. But now that I've got the thing down, or now that I have everything down, it typically takes me about, I'd say 10, 15 minutes per clip. And then you can also, you know, add on top of there, like a, like a YouTube subscribe um, uh, animation if you want to. You can find those for free on Google. You can add animations on there. You can do all kinds of stuff with DaVinci Resolve. It's an incredible software. Everything's free to use. All right, guys, and that's that. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this video. This is going to help push my video out to others who need this. Um, again, I am a streamer. I stream Apex Legends on Facebook gaming and YouTube gaming. I go by Rave Dad. My goal is to bring the EDM and gaming community together. Uh, if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to watch my stream. I stream most weekdays, 4 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you have any issues with this video or if you have any questions, please post it down in the comments below. I'd be happy to help. Other than that, catch you guys later.